when you're lubricating uh, limit nuts on, for the most part, any gate operator, uh, you do want to spread the lubricant on there liberally, similar to what's, what's right here. Um, this may be a little bit excess right here, but what you can do is when you're servicing it every quarter, or every six months, every year, is you can use this excess that's right here. You can actually use it to spread back out um, on the limit shaft to, uh, to re-lubricate the uh, shaft itself. Um, and a couple other things when you're uh, adjusting the limits and looking for when servicing them. One of the things you want to do is just double check and feel how the limit switches feel and see if they've got a nice pop to them and a nice uh, click. Uh, the other thing is make sure that uh, lubricant is uh, all the way from one end of the shaft over here all the way to the other end. Uh, it uh, helps keep the uh, limit nuts, if by chance they ever break or go past the limit, it actually will help get the limit nut back on there when the service tech comes out and uh, services it. Um, also check the limit nuts themselves to make sure there are no cracks. And in order to do that in this, I'm going to have to actually clean all this uh, excess off and just make sure that uh, this isn't uh, cracked on the back. Um, but uh, this is one of the gate operators I've serviced in the last six months, so uh, it, uh, it should be okay. But uh, other than that, double check to make sure the housing itself is good. As you can see uh, in the beginning of this video, this particular gate operator still had the, uh, the cover on there. So if the gate operator doesn't have a limit switch cover, that's also part of your uh, routine service is make sure that it uh, has one. Probably carry one with you for the popular gate operators, the, uh, the um, Automatics and the Liftmasters slash Elites and uh, Viking. I think the majority of the Viking gate operators do not have a, uh, a cover for their... Uh, uh, limit shaft if they have one. Most of those actually have the limit cams attached to the gear reducer so there's no uh, shaft there's just two limit cams that switch back and forth. Um, and then the other thing that you want to use is uh, low temperature uh, lithium grease or sometimes called this white grease and uh, it stays solid throughout uh, the high and low temperatures that you experience, especially what we experience here in Texas. It continues to stay a solid so it doesn't uh, leak down in the bottom of the uh, uh, limit uh, housing. And uh, I think that's about it for limit shafts.